Hello everybody and before we get into it in this video I would just like to say if you are a smaller or indie author who depends on Audible's exclusivity arrangement where you get a higher cut of the revenue sales you should feel no guilt in utilizing that program to be able to make a living. In my opinion this is a fight for people who have a bit of cushion and are able to sacrifice some of their revenue to hopefully encourage Audible to make a change down the road. I know a lot of people are in that position and yes, Audible is a large enough percentage of sales to a lot of authors that losing that percentage from the exclusivity arrangement would be devastating to their income. Still, for my two books, Breach of Peace and Rebels Creed, Audible is the largest percentage of revenue I get from their overall sales. And don't worry if you actually have spent credits on Audible to get my books. One, thank you very much for supporting my writing career. But two, they will still be left on Audible, just not exclusively because I didn't want to screw people over who only use Audible and aren't involved in this fight. But once I hear back from ACX, the company that is owned by Amazon that does audiobook production, that my books have been released from their exclusivity, I will be putting them here on my YouTube channel. Now, of course, part of the reason I am doing this is for the same reasons we saw Sanderson outline that we covered here in this video. And yeah, I agree with Sanderson that the revenue share Audible is currently enforcing on its authors is abhorrent. 40% for exclusivity is already insulting. 25% for non-exclusivity is embarrassing. But there is additional reasons to that. The first of which is directly related to me being a content creator. This isn't as cut and dry as the revenue share that is so insulting, but it's definitely still there because essentially since I've been large enough as a content creator to look into having sponsors, Audible has been a very tempting one that I've dabbled with but never fully committed to because you make good money using an Audible affiliate program. I know some people get different deals, but the one that's available for most content creators, the bounty program, which full transparency, I have had 11 bounties signed up through my links. Not a ton, but it's something. It's lucrative. And if you push it hard, you can make a good amount of money that way as a content creator. But you see how that might put a bad taste in my mouth personally. If I know that authors I love and support are not being properly compensated by this company for their work, it kind of feels weird to then get compensated extra nicely for then promoting that platform on my channel. It just feels too much like taking food from an author's plate to benefit myself for me to have ever really leaned in hard to that program. And then the final reason isn't my favorite, but it's absolutely the truth. My first two books are completely under my control and they are self-published. And for that reason, I'm going to be putting them here on the YouTube channel as soon as they're released. And if you wouldn't mind giving them a listen, helping them actually be good videos in the algorithm, that would mean a lot to me. I am a little afraid putting them here because they're going to be super long videos that are just audiobooks for books that have been out for a while, so it could potentially ding me. I'm not sure. Give it a listen if you're interested. But my third book, A Witch's Sin, the first book in Neon Ghosts, is going through a publisher. And the way that publisher works, it is going to be an Audible exclusive for the audiobook. I'm not the biggest fan of that. And I asked if it could be changed, but I was told no. If I put my foot down and tried to make a really big deal out of this, it could potentially screw over some people who have helped me a lot to get this book done. And with this being a smaller publisher, I don't really want to do that. I'll just remind you that the book will also be available through other mediums. But hopefully to kind of counterbalance that, yes, that was one of the final nails in the coffin for me to take my first two books, and I'm just going to be putting them up here on YouTube for you all to enjoy with no mid-rolls, just beginning and end ads. If you are an author who is financially stable enough to potentially do this, I encourage you to look into it. If you're indie, it should be pretty easy. If you're not... It can be a struggle. And for readers, I highly recommend you check out Audible Alternatives, many of which we covered in this video. And I recommend you go watch that video for a more nuanced deep dive into what exactly is happening here for authors. Sanderson did a wonderful job in his statement, which we read through, just making it how clear how bad this situation is, especially for smaller authors. But this has just been me walking you through a decision-making process as someone who is an author with books out there. And if you are interested in checking out Breach of Peace and Rebels Creed, there are going to be videos launched here here on the channel within the next couple of weeks. I've been told it should take one to two business days. 
It is the second business day. Quick update and additional insight into what this process looks like to de-exclusive your book from Audible, which if you want to do, you have to send them an email through the Contact Us page. They then respond with this email where they are just basically going over like, you know you're going to be screwed if you don't do this, right? To which I responded with this. No hate to the person who had to reach out. I understand you're just doing your job. And I think that's kind of funny. I think it's pretty funny that their response to me being like, I don't want to be exclusive with you anymore is to be like, oh, that'll suck for you, though. <laughs> but like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you like support what I do here. And have a good one, y'all. Peace. Bye.